I need, because I'm going to get some points, right? So here's the thing. When I was married, when I was married in my marriage, right? It did not feel like freedom. It felt like bondage. It felt like a ball and chain. It felt like I couldn't do anything, right? I couldn't be myself, right? Now you're saying your marriage don't feel like that. You're saying your marriage feels like you're free, right? So if I if I um, um met someone, right, that I could feel free, I would do it. But so far, I've been feeling everybody like I I, I cut I cut off like very quickly because it just feels like a ball and chain it still feels like bondage right so you know we got divorced right i'm thinking this is gonna make both of us happy because we were not happy together and it's like he's still miserable right so when you say when you say you know you feel like in your marriage you're free i think you you know but it's kind of like he's like on the same page as you as he far is, as, far as like page. worship and yeah. prayer. So yeah. based on how much y'all are on the same page. Yeah, yeah. My, that's that wasn't my marriage. And yeah. uh, and be honest with you, these days it's a lot of a lot of people are just not on the same page. I know. Yeah. I sometimes wonder if my ex was um closet in the closet. Closet. Or he could have been by. I I, I sometimes understand? I understand. I'm saying it, it could have been by, you know, because he did like that lady and then, you know, well, you never saw him with another man, so you don't know. No, but the girl, like, looked like a man. No, but she still is not a man. No, but she had, no, but they, they were having, like, they were having, like, homosexual sex. Well. You know what I mean by that? Yeah, I do. And you know. it was a point, it was a point in our marriage. Yeah, but she's, it's not homosexual because she's a woman. No. You know what I mean by homosexual sex? I do, from the back. In in the butt. I know. That's all he wanted at one point. Yeah, but what I'm saying, she's still a woman. Yeah, but she was, she had a haircut like your husband. She she had a hair, she had a boy haircut. But she still had a vagina. He wasn't using it. <laughs> But um, you see my point. She still is a woman. Yes. Yes. But, yes. But it's. I'm saying. I wonder now because it was. It was a point. He even. We were in marriage council. He was constantly talking about he wanted this. This, sex in the butt. Thing. Well, then he should have. Uh, yeah, you should have been got rid of him. What well, did he say that in the early part of the marriage? No. No. Mm -mm. This is learned. It's a learned thing. No, well, no, he did say he had an ex girlfriend that he used to do that with before okay, me. So you should have stopped him right there. Well, once you had the first baby, you should have gotten rid of him. He wasn't pushing for that oh. with me. He didn't start pushing for that until after um um he got with the um girl that had the boy haircut. That was that's what she was giving him, right? And um now that I think back on it. It's like he constantly, that's what he was talking about after a while. So, um, because it was, I, I look back, you know, you know how you rewind the tape in your mind? And it was like, he was so stuck on this girl because she was willing to do that. And I wonder if, was he doing that be, with a woman because, but he, you know, but, you know, if he could do that with a man, he would have been okay with it too. I see what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's but, a, or he was, it's, it's like that was the type of, of sex he wanted, but because he didn't want to be consider himself gay or bisexual, he was finding women who were willing to do basically that's homosexual sex. But, but yes, but he did do it with a woman that had breasts, and the breasts turned him on too, so that's not homosexual. But in your from the back, you don't see you don't see no breasts, that's true too. Breast from the back? Maybe he could hold it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But but the bottom line is that she's a woman with a vagina, and uh, he chose. He wasn't to... using the vagina. It's it's still a woman. You see what I'm saying? I see. She's still saying. a woman. If he wanted a man, he would have gone with a man, and maybe we he don't. Did. We don't know if he went with a man or not. Right. That's right. You know, you don't know what people do in the dark. But see, the thing is. uh with those kinds of things, you have to be on the cautious uh, because you don't know what you could receive 
as a disease from what he was doing. No, you're right. You was lucky and God looked out for you. Uh -huh. so, uh, so I just say that to say how people are not reasonable. They're not reasonable even in your uh, husband's situation. Telling you that uh, he can have sex back there and that's what he wants constantly. And if, if, he, if he don't do it, what's wrong with the front? What's wrong with the front? I don't think there's anything wrong in with the front. In other words, you know what I'm thinking? It's not tight enough for them. I think he said something along that lines. So, yeah, he, he, he definitely needed to, to, to come out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, you went through a lot of storm. Mm -hmm. You're a strong woman. That's what people say. That was a starter marriage. What is a starter marriage? So this is the definition of a starter marriage, right? So, right, usually they last like five years or less. So, um, you, I knew at the four-year mark, the marriage was over. Usually starter marriages are, done at, are usually done at year five. But this is what happens. When you get into a relationship and you move too fast, so make like say like you start dating someone, you get exclusive, like within a month, um, you move in with each other within three months, mm -hmm. you um, get pregnant within five months, mm -hmm. right? You're more likely to, um, one, not really know the person that well, and two, because especially if you're Christian, mm -hmm. two, it's like, oh, well, we don't move in together. We got, we're, we're, we're pregnant out of wet light. We might as well make it right and get married. Mm. And all you're doing is setting yourself up for divorce. Okay, I didn't know that. That's that's the definition of a star marriage. Um, that's one of the definitions of a star marriage. One. One of, so it's like so like so so for example, if I would have dated someone, like so a lot of times people say, Oh, if you're over a certain age and you meet someone, you should be married within two years, right? That's not necessarily true because you don't most relationships fail statistically. This me being doing sociology within five years. So if you're dating, say like you're 45, right? And you get, you meet someone at like in January. If you get married by December, you're going to be, the de, uh, December, you might be divorced within two years. Because do you, do you date now? I have dated, yeah. When was the last time? Last, last month? No. Oh, like, years. Not year, last, like last year. Oh, so you're willing to date? Yeah, I had met somebody I had really, really liked. And just say he yeah, was. Yeah, you told me uh, that's the one you told me about. Yeah, but he he just was he he, he was just not ready for anything serious. Mm -hmm. But um, now so like if you meet somebody in January and then if you married him by December, it's like um, and you know you had it's basically that's not enough time to know to really know a person mm -hmm. it's like you know you can be infatuated with them but it's like you haven't seen like all the ebbs and flows ups and downs and you know you haven't really um figured out like if there's anything that's a dilper because you're still on that honeymoon high mm -hmm. you know so i know i have a um a friend of mine she says she, um she's been dating her boyfriend she's like me 41 42 she said oh yeah they've been dating for like five years and i said oh do you think you're gonna marry she's like yeah i think eventually we'll get married we talk about it a lot but you know we're not in a rush like they're we're just enjoying each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or whatever and like you know she she moved back in with her mom and i guess he is always traveling for work but mm -hmm. she said they talk about it i think they're more likely to have like a long-lasting marriage